Hello fellow sin enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. I am once again joined by Kimmy. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I think I've done more videos with her than I've done alone. <laughs> so what's to make this review any different? What is different though is that it is not a classic movie Thursday. Today oh. is a special Halloween video. Yay. Woo! <laughs> and for Halloween, for today, we are reviewing the Amityville Horror from but, 2005. Yes, <laughs> from 2005 with <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> we promise that this review won't be all about Ryan Reynolds. We'll try very hard. <laughs> I know, I know. If you're not familiar with the story of Amityville Horror, Kimmy's kind of an expert. Uh, <laughs> maybe because she read the book. I so what book. happens? Explain. Well, it... It's actually, it starts out with the first family called the DeFeos, and the oldest son, Ron DeFeo Jr., mm -hmm. moves into their basement. After living there for 28 days, he goes crazy and murders his entire family, which actually happened in real life. Yeah. Like, that is the part that actually happened. Nice kid. Um, yeah. <laughs> so when the new family, the Lutz family, moves in, um, weird things start happening, as usual, in a haunted house. The stepdad, played by... Reynolds. Mm -hmm. George Letts starts to go a little crazy and the house starts telling him to catch him and kill him and he's getting visions of murder and all this other stuff. Yeah, crazy that, stuff happens. Yeah, and the house is supposed to be built on like an old Dutch settlement yeah. house or whatever and it has something to do with that and like I guess Indians yeah. or something. Yeah, like, like slaves. this one yeah. guy kills, goes crazy and kills like 20 people on the property mm -hmm. and they're all like they're all are found in a lake that like the lake uh, in the backyard yeah yeah, the yeah. Backyard. so it's just like it's kind of trying to like build on the historical facts a little bit and yeah. then it's trying to build on like you know just scary stuff scary yeah. like old stuff nobody ever is gonna know for sure if the Lutz family hyped up the haunting because of the the murders that happens there before they moved in. Um, just because there were reports that the, like, Ron DeFeo went nuts and, like, he said the house drove him crazy. So they could have went with that and wrote a book off of it and made a ton of money off of it. But who knows if it actually happened or not. It's still Be a good crazy story. If it did, yeah, it's yeah. a really good story. I love still, it. It's still a good the story. The book was really good. It scared the shit out of me mm -hmm. because I was afraid to stop reading it because I had to know how it ended. So that is one of the books on a rare occasion where I read it the whole... In one day, I read it the oh whole book. Oh, my God. Because I was terrified to go to bed without knowing that the whole family was okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. Yeah, I can imagine. But it was a really good book. I liked yeah. it. I think I had seen this movie first, and then I went back and I watched the original. That's what I did. Too. Because this was actually my first R-rated movie. I was 17 <laughs> at the time. Let's date myself here. <laughs> this is my first R movie at 17 years old. I remember clear as day going to see this and being scared out of my wits. <laughs> there was, like, a few scenes that are, like, my absolute worst nightmares. Yeah. Like, there was one scene where the little kid, he goes to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and then he leaves the door open. Dumb kid. Everybody knows you Sets don't out. leave the bathroom, yeah. the bathroom <laughs> door open, when you go, especially if it's in the middle of the night, yeah. and, like, some, like, like weird figure just comes yeah. and, like, scares him, and it scared me. And I will never, ever even leave the door open a smidge, even if I'm home by myself. Never, ever, ever. I can't even, like, go wash my face with the bathroom door open at night. Like, I can't. No. I can't do it. And the other one was something, like, oh, within the closet. Oh, oh, she gets left in the closet. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't deal with that. Like, that. Oh, no. A little girl. Oh, my God. I'm, like, terrified now just to think about, yeah. like, oh, I can't. And um, another one is where they're escaping and they see that face. Oh, the window. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. It's scary. Because, like, I'm sometimes home alone by myself at night. Like, everybody yeah. can be out. This is the kind of life that I lead. <laughs> so it's me and the dog. And my it, yeah. living room looks out to the door. Like, you can see all the way to, through the door. And it scares me. The number one reason why I wanted to see this. When I am obsessed with Alias, with the TV show <laughs> Alias. I am super, super obsessed, mm -hmm. and I had to see it because Melissa George was in it, and Melissa George was on Alias, 
She was. And I was so happy to see her in something. <laughs> I remember, I'm like, Melissa George is in something. Yeah! Like, I have to go see it. I saw it. I have to go see it in the movies. And, like, and when it came out on DVD, this was before Blu-ray. Yeah. I got it on DVD, and if you pre-ordered it from Suncoast, this is how old I am. Uh, no, I remember Suncoast. Yeah. I got a lot of movies at Suncoast. You pre-ordered it from Suncoast, and you get a poster. I got the poster because I'm that cool. <laughs> and I think the DVD was like $16 at the time. <laughs> yeah, which isn't bad. So I got that. I really liked it, and I like her as an actress. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she really gets enough attention as an actress. She really, she's really good. Yeah, she's been in a few things here. Mm-hmm. Minor characters. Yeah. Not so much. I've only in... seen her in Alias. Yeah. So besides Alias and Amityville Horror, and if you're a Sugar and Spice fan, she was Cleo in Sugar and Spice, and she was, like, freaking hilarious. <laughs> Maybe you guys will know Sugar and Spice. If you do, leave a comment. <laughs> so I enjoyed seeing her in that. And another Alias connection in this, and I, yeah. like, when I went back and I watched it for the first time in, like, a really long time, maybe, like, a year or two ago, um... Rachel Nichols, who's in that show Continuum, if any of you are familiar with that, she was also an alias. She was Rachel Gibson in the last season. I'm like, oh, alias! Wow! It's <laughs> she like was the, the yeah. The she was the babysitter. Yeah, Rachel Nichols was the babysitter, and I like almost died. I'm like, <laughs> Rachel Gibson and Lauren Reed are talking to each other. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. So the only reason I watched it is because of Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we promised that it wouldn't be all about Ryan it's Reynolds. It's not all about Ryan Reynolds. I, I only know. mentioned him once. True. But he was really good in this. I'm not too much of a fan of his acting. Like, I think he's okay. He's okay. He's not that great. I know... <laughs> Wait, what are you pushing? This is my video. Um, he's he's okay as an actor. He's not my favorite. But like, beautiful. Though. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the only reason I watch him. <laughs> It was nice seeing him run around with his shirt off most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't hard to look at him. I didn't mind it, and I'm sure that's why they did it. You know, yeah. they put that in the movie. They yeah. let him run around shirtless half the time. Mm-hmm. And then we have to throw out that Chloe Grace Moretz was, like, eight she years was old. so cute. And, like, this is the movie I will always know her from. Yeah. She played um, the daughter, Chelsea, in yeah. it. And she was super cute. She was so cute. She was super cute. She did a really good job. Yeah. I think the kids did a really good job because the two of them, Chloe Grace Moretz and Michael Bennett is the other kid's name. Mm-hmm. Um, he was uh, the younger Captain Kirk in Star Trek. Um, the two youngest ones were, were mm-hmm. really, really good. Yeah. I think because they were younger yeah. and they did such a good job doing yeah. what they did. Ambi Vuhar, it scared the ever-living shit out of me when I first saw it in the movie theaters. <laughs> it's I went, not that bad now. <laughs> no, it's not. But I went by myself. And at 17... Yeah. Not being a real, like, horror movie fan and going by myself. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I remember sitting in the movie theaters by myself when the when the, the thing came and scared the pet, like, literally scared the piss out of the poor kid. <laughs> I remember that, and I was, like, terrified. I remember being so terrified and, like, a few other things. But now I look at it, and I'm like, I love this movie. And I'm, like, sitting there yelling yeah. at it. I'm like, Stupid. Why do you open the wall? Why do you do this? Yeah. Why are you down in the basement by yourself? Don't you do this. I provide commentary for every movie we watch. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm used to watching them by myself. That's true. But and this one hasn't smacked me yet, so I don't stop. It's, fine. <laughs> it's entertainment. Yeah, it is entertainment. Yeah. I'm a big baby when it comes to horror movies, so this one as a horror movie really wasn't that bad. No, no. So if you can handle... I don't know, looking at Ryan Reynolds, go ahead and watch it. Definitely. <laughs> the acting really isn't bad in it. Mm-hmm. It was pretty I'll good. Watch either one. Yeah. I don't really prefer one over the other. Yeah, I haven't seen the original in a really long time. As a whole, Amityville Horror 2005 is absolutely worth watching. Mm-hmm. I think the story was very interesting. They expanded on a lot yeah. of things, and they made it, like, really creepy. I mean... Yeah. You know, it was made in 2005. It's 10 years old. It's not going to be as scary as some of the other stuff. It's not really, like, slasher porn, but it's not, no. like, psychological thriller. Yeah. It's, it's like, almost... It doesn't a... really freak you out. No. Either. No, it doesn't at it's all. It's just a really good movie about a haunting. Like, a haunted yeah. house. That's it. Yeah. Great way to put it. <laughs> Great way to put it. I, have, I could not have said it better myself. So, good job on that one. Yay. Go ahead. Watch it. 
Thank you for watching our review of Amityville Horror from 2005. If you like this review in any way, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of the story and maybe Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Why not? Why not? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so for future movie reviews and maybe this one some more. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> most likely. As always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.